Crowds filled the street in this town in western Honduras to bid farewell to activist Berta Caceres. The 43-year-old teacher was known for her work keeping hydroelectric plants and mines from encroaching on indigenous lands. She had received death threats for her work and had asked unsuccessfully for government protection. But she was shot dead last Thursday in an apparent robbery at her home. Supporters called on the government to find and punish her killers, calls that were echoed by Casera's daughter, Laura Zuniga. El asesinato de los luchadores se vive a diario. Every day fighters are being murdered, and the murderer of our mother, an internationally recognized and award-winning activist, is proof that they will continue. We want this to be the last time that we ask for justice for a fighter. Caceres' death spotlights the country's murder rate, which is one of the highest in the world. Fellow activists say that violence is made possible by government corruption. Caceres' supporters say Honduran President Juan Orlando Hernandez has turned a blind eye to the corruption, and they're calling for his resignation.